Hey guys, it's NSK here. I know I haven't uploaded anything in about two years, and I'm very sorry for that. But, you know, after WMG started cracking down on everybody for about their audio and crap, I just, you know, kind of gave up on my machinima. But, um, I'm looking to fix that. I'm going to get back on, and I'm going to start uploading some more stuff. I haven't really decided what to update yet, so you're welcome to take some you know some uh, suggestions from all of you guys and also I will be uploading some minecraft videos as you can see I'm um, doing right now but um, this is gonna be from a uh, you know, the minecraft video is gonna be on a different account I, mean, um, I would also like to restart my uh, Super Mario Bros machinima that I had going I know I only got two episodes out and I'm very sorry I never uploaded another one but like I said uh, WMG kinda messed up my plans when they started you know taking down my audio and crap but if you guys would like to see me put it up anyway, go ahead and uh, leave a comment or inbox me, and I'll definitely take that into consideration. Because I really would, lo I would love to not have to give up on the, the series, but you know, it, d it depends on what's going. But anyway, for this video, I said I'm just going to show you guys what I've been doing since I hadn't been on YouTube forever. I'm showing you what I've done on Minecraft. I made some pretty cool stuff. As you can see, there's an obsidian gate right there. Not that you would really know what that is if you haven't played Minecraft, but basically it leads to hell in this game. Just saying. Um, the lava over there, that's in there for the hell of it because, well, I like making obsidian and using it to build stuff, as you can see up there. Um, the lava fall and the waterfall are purely just to look cool next to my itty bitty house you can see right there in the middle. But yeah. Also, I highly recommend making yourself a lava fall because pigs are stupid and they walk in it and die as well as other animals and they leave their drop items right there. Best of all, the pig meat they drop is cooked already. But anyway, right now I'm going to show you my, well, I won't call it a roller coaster so much as a rail system because it's really just to get from one side of this island to the other. Um, and if you haven't noticed already, this is not the default texture pack. I made everything in here, except for except for the uh, leaves on the trees. I pretty much changed everything on here to my own custom stuff that I made. So yeah, that took forever, but it's pretty cool and definitely worth it. Here we go. Ah, hit a chicken, I think. Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah, there's the leather armor. And that's my quarry right there. Yes, I dug that all by hand. No dynamite used. Well, a little bit, but not to really dig so much as see if I could expose some diamond. After that, it gave up. It was only like three dynamite anyway. Um, okay, so that's the end of that side. Now, this is pretty cool. It's quite fun. Um, in case you're wondering what this is from, well, you used to be able to do a little booster trick where you could make this one spin on a track and you ride this other one past it and it'll boost it super fast, but uh, the guys who make this game fixed that, unfortunately. And fair warning, you are going to hear a random grunt because uh, when I t hit this turn, for some reason I hit this rock and that one, it hurts me. It's quite stupid, but whatever. Oh, also, I hope you like the torches. I made the flame myself as well. <clears throat> Oh shoot, there we go. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's the first hit, and there we go. All right, now just enjoy the show, people. Out of, by the way, I don't know why that arrow's backwards on that track. It's facing the right way, but it's backwards. I don't know why. So yeah, and there we go. And that means there's a dungeon nearby. So yeah, um, if you guys got any questions about what kind of stuff I'm going to be uploading as far as Minecraft or just in general, go ahead and send me some uh, questions. Oh, and if you're really wondering why I made this really cool looking arrow thing being shot from the planet to the sun, well, this used to be gravel. I mean, it still is gravel, but uh, it looked quite plain. It was really stupid looking in the game normally. So I changed it to something awesome. I mean, if it's because it's practically useless, so might as well make it look good, right? It's my bed. This is my really long ladder that goes down to the bottom of my house. Um, I'm not going to show you all everything because it will take a really long time, but I hope you all enjoy this video. So yeah, just look look to be seeing some more stuff coming from me. Oh, that is a trap door which leads to my uh, cactus and sugar cane farm and then my tree farm below it. And this is pretty much all my stuff where I store everything. I got um, some tools and weapons you can see. Uh, a few things that aren't tools or weapons like this gravel right here. I don't know why I still have that. But um, yeah, the iron swords. The iron swords are pretty cool. I made them look like cast iron. That's why they're black. It's all the 
iron stuff is pretty much like this, so it looks like it's cast iron, which is pretty cool. Um, I have a bunch of cobble, probably from uh, digging my quarry. I don't remember because it's been a while since I played on this world, but probably from digging my quarry. Um, you can see I got a little bit of uh, iron ingot there, but um, I got a diamond sword here, which looks really cool. If you don't like, uh, it looks better in the sunlight. I'll show you all that in a minute. Um, yeah, this one's exactly what it says, dirt and crafts. It's nothing but dirt and a bunch of stuff you use to craft things, like, you know, the wool and all that for making cool stuff, or some mossy cobblestone, some buckets, um, construction supplies. Also, as it implies, there's like a billion freaking coal in here. Uh, a bunch of redstone as well, some wood, saplings. I don't really use saplings because I don't need that many because I got that, uh, you know, tree farm I mentioned earlier. You know, all this other stuff from Minecraft. If you don't know much about Minecraft, you should totally watch some videos. It's a very good game. Yeah, this one's carts and meat, because there's literally nothing but carts and a bunch of freaking meat. Which, once again, um, came from that lava fall I mentioned earlier. So yeah, it pays off a lot to have a lava fall when you have pigs that spawn there and die for no reason. So it's quite funny. Um... Anyway, if any of y'all want this texture pack, I will be releasing it eventually. Not just yet, but I'll do it a little while after I get some more of my uh, videos up, and especially if I get a lot of likes on the, my Minecraft videos. Um, yeah, this sign that says, Warning, Ridiculously Large Cave Beyond There, this is not even an understatement at all. It's a very, very big cave. It took forever to look up throughout the entire thing, and I found some lapis lazuli and stuff in there, too. So, yeah. Um, also, um... I don't know how many people are really good at making worlds, but I tend to come up with some pretty good worlds purely by just entering in some uh, random phrase or something I come up with. Like, for instance, uh, well, actually, no, I won't tell you any right now, but um, I will show you another world in another video, and I will give you the seed to that if you want to see that world. But for now, I'm going to show you the cactus. Yeah, there's the sugar cane, there's the cactus. Quite simple, really. Um, uh, I wonder if I left anything in there. Nope. All right. And there's these two chests that I put everything that I get from these in here. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was growing some uh, wheat in here as well, or flour, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing, really. Um... Yeah, when I was digging this place out, uh, I had some random lava coming down on my head. So I kind of had to go up there and change it all into obsidian to get rid of it. Because I had a bucket of water in my hand to save me, so it was all good. Yeah, um, in case you're wondering why there's glass on top of here, yeah, I hadn't tried placing torches on glass before, so I didn't realize you couldn't. And then I found out afterwards I had to put dirt under and put torches on it, so it's like, whatever. You know, because everybody knows cactuses and sugar cane need light to grow, so that's what the point of that was. Um, this is pretty small. Let me show you. Okay, now we're in the tree farm. Also found some diamonds here. I dug a few shafts around here. There was a lot of lava here, too. Oh, and um, this is redstone. Many people have uh, compared it to the uh, symbol off of the Hylian shield from, you know, Zelda games and stuff. But um, I really was not trying to do that at all. If you pay attention to it more, you can notice I put a um, lightning symbol right there on one side and lightning on the other. And the thing in the middle is supposed to look like a circuit. It's pretty much to let you know it's redstone because it acts like electric circuits and stuff. But yeah, it's been mistaken by that by quite a few people. So just saying. Nothing useful in there. Okay, going back up and I'm going to show you the diamond sword in sunlight because it looks quite awesome. Seriously, if you're interested in the texture pack, I'll definitely uh, send you all a link after a while. Okay. Well, most people probably already know how this stuff works, but I just find I like this little simple thing. See, it's open already. Press the button, closes it. Normally, it's supposed to open and close, but since it's already open, it just closes it for you, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, so this is pretty cool. Um, after I show you the uh, diamond sword, I'm pretty sure that's about it. So you know, just enjoy it. Took me a while to make all these textures, like quite a few weeks actually because I had to come up with good ideas for them I couldn't just put random crap on it otherwise it looked really really stupid um, I was gonna make an HD texture pack but I couldn't understand how all that worked exactly so instead I made a regular one Oh, great I can't show you it in sunlight just yet because it's freaking you know 
nighttime. Hold on a second. Let me go to sleep. And it'll be daytime. And now. So, alright. Going up. Up, up, and away. No, I'm kidding. That's like the most retarded joke anyone ever tells on here. They go up on something. But yeah. Check out the diamond sword. Looks pretty awesome, huh? Doesn't it? Uh, yeah. It's probably the coolest thing I made on here. So, yeah. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, I have a, a Assassin's Creed skin on, see? Yeah. It's, uh, well, I made it myself. It's pretty cool. Um, I couldn't do it perfectly. So, as you can see, the, uh, Animus, no, not Animus, um, Brotherhood symbol is on my back instead of the front because I couldn't fit it there. But I think I did a pretty good rendition of it for, you know, such limited use on this since everything's pixel by pixel, you know? Ignore that noise, that's just coming from the obsidian gate, but yeah. This is one of my earlier <laughs> constructions. There used to be a big freaking tree here, but I got rid of it, so now it's just open area. But yeah. So, yeah, that was when I was going to try to get TNT. It took forever to get, because I, I turned on the monsters. I was killing creepers, but they weren't dropping enough, you know, black powder for me to make the TNT, so I just gave up on it. But yeah. Everything in here has been made by hand by me. Completely legit. Absolutely no modding or any spawning or anything because this is not online. So, yeah. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, the grass is different too, and so is the dirt. That's also mine. The water, on the other hand, I didn't change it because, well, I'm not sure what to do for a water texture. But yeah, this is my quarry. It's pretty freaking huge. So yeah. And if you can barely tell, there's a tiny little piece of obsidian floating in the air down there. But yeah, I've dug all this out by hand. Took a long time. Really long time. There's a trash bin in the middle right there. You can s Well, you can't see it here, but there's lava. A little beast block of lava right there. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's about it. So, um, if you guys have any questions or suggestions for videos for me to upload, just uh, let me know. And I'll um, look forward to my future videos. Uh, thank you, and goodbye.